Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Nama saya Siti Nurani binti Mausin dan hari ini saya akan mengupas tentang bahaya radiasi kepada juru SD. Dalam bahasa yang mudah, radiasi adalah sinaran di mana sinaran alfa, beta dan gamma digunakan dalam apa-apa tujuan terutamanya perubatan iaitu X-ray. Jika radiasi terkena pada tubuh pada manusia iaitu juru X-ray, ada terdapat dua kemungkinan. Pertama, sinaran hanya lalu sahaja dan kemungkinan yang kedua ialah sinaran akan menembusi tubuh badan juru X-ray tersebut. Radiasi tersebut akan mengayunisasi dan mengaktifkan atom. Dengan kata lain, tenaga radiasi yang diserap dalam jaringan biologi akan muncul sebagai suhu panas yang meningkatkan getaran atom. Hal inilah yang merupakan perubahan kimia yang mengakibatkan penyakit daripada kesan radiasi. Antara jenis penyakit yang terkena daripada radiasi oleh juru X-ray ialah yang pertama, kanser kulit, kanser mata, kandungan menjadi gugur, mutasi kepada janin dan wanita menjadi gugur. Sekiranya ramai juru X-ray wanita sudah berhenti bekerja kerana takut kepada radiasi. Jadi untuk keterangan yang lebih lanjut, mari kita saksikan video yang saya sediakan. X-rays are still considered a carcinogen by the World Health Organization, and one study published in the journal Cancer found a link for a slight increased risk for certain brain cancers and frequent dental X-rays. Another study published in the journal Lancet found an up to 6% risk of cancer from diagnostic X-rays. But we have come a long way. Medical X-rays in the 50s used almost 100 times the radiation now considered acceptable. Basically, the amount of radiation during an X-ray is pretty small small. According to the FDA, an x-ray of your bones and your hands or feet is pretty comparable to a day's worth of natural background radiation. But other procedures have different levels of exposure. And there are enormous benefits to x-rays. The pros by far outweigh the cons. They're an incredible diagnostic tool. They find things like bone breaks, blood clots, tumors, and many, many more things you really want to know about without invasive exploratory surgery. And don't be afraid to ask questions. Make sure it's medically necessary and ask to wear the protective shields. They're like a lead apron or a neck guard. And since radiation is cumulative over the course of your life, keep track of your x-ray history and make sure your medical professional knows. X-rays catch far more cases of cancer than they cause. Speaking of catching cancer, it seems South Korea is overdiagnosing this. These can include stunted growth, deformities, abnormal brain function, or cancer that may develop sometime later in life. Women have an increased risk of fetal miscarriage. Fetuses are less sensitive to radiation during later stages of pregnancy after 18 weeks. Since the fetus is shielded by the mother's abdomen, it is partially protected in the womb from radioactive sources outside the mother's body. This means that the radiation dose to the fetus is lower than the dose to the mother for most radiation exposure events. Remember, after a radiation emergency, pregnant women should follow instructions from emergency officials and seek medical attention as soon as emergency officials say it is safe to do so. Walau bagaimanapun, terdapat cara-cara untuk mengurangkan kepada risiko yang terkena kepada radiasi. Antaranya ialah memakai peralatan perlindungan persendirian iaitu lead vest, bonnet sheet, lead apron, thyroid sheet dan lead gugun. Jadi kesimpulannya, marilah kita menghindari radiasi kerana ia berbahaya kepada kita, terutamanya kepada wanita. 